What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Kendall clocking in with another video. And in today's video, we finally got another South Park reaction, bro. My bad, bro. I'm gonna get more consistent with them after this video, I promise, bro. No care. I'm gonna get back in my bag with the South Park reactions. But in today's video, we finna react to one of the most popular episodes of South Park titled Scott Tenderman Must Die. So I ain't finna talk y'all heads off. I heard this a good, a good episode. So we finna get straight into it. I guess it seems that I am the first one of us to reach manhood after all. What the hell are you talking about? Well, because unlike you guys, I just got my first pubes. You got pubes? What's pubes? Pubic hair. He's saying you got his first pubic hair. Oh. No, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. I'm becoming a man. He's lying. Aren't they in like fourth grade? <laughs> There's no way he actually has pubic hair. You want to see him? Hell no. Here, check him out. You don't want to see them, Cartman. There, see? How do you like them apples? Ha! What are those? My pubes. What? <laughs> Wait, how did he just pull him out like that? I got him from Scott Tennerman. Scott Tennerman, the ninth grader? Yep, he let me have him for just 10 bucks. Wait, he sold this man his pubes for $10? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, you got finesse, Carmen. No bullshit. Telling me these pubes are worth nothing. Yeah. I'm gonna get that son of a bitch. Think of the devil. What do you want? Uh, yes, I've come to return these pubes that I purchased for you. Uh-uh, I don't take returns. Right, but you see, I didn't realize when I... I'm not gonna lie. Um, what is his name? Scott Tennerman, bro? You're weird. He stole his pubes to a fourth grader. He's in like ninth grade, so he's like what, fourteen? He sold it to a fourth grader. How old are you in fourth grade? I can't really remember, but that's crazy. Like that's weird. I bought these pubes from you that you were full of shit. So you can either give me back my ten dollars, or I can go tell my mom on you. You would actually tell your mom that you were stupid enough to pay for my pubes? Uh uh, I don't think so. This is my first time ever seeing Carmen get bitch. Hello, sir. My name is Chris Christopherson. I'm with the. Uh, this, this, this man, bro. This man put the pubes on his face? I ain't gonna lie, Carmen. You just reached the all-time new low with that one. That is crazy. This man just put pubic hair on his face. IRS, I'm here to collect $10 that you owe in back taxes. You're not from the IRS. You glued my pubes onto your face. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll trade you my pubes back for the money. You will? Cool. How much did I charge? Uh, oh, yeah, $10. You got changed for a 20? Oh, uh, mm. I only got six dollars and twelve cents. Oh, well, that's okay. Here, just give me the six dollars, and then I'll give you the twenty. Okay. Now give me the pubes, and I'll give you back two dollars. Right. Now give me the twelve cents, and I'll give you the rest of your change back. Who? And then give me the twenty, and I'll give you the pubes. Three. <laughs> bro, this man just, bro, this man just got ooky doop. I just made that up on the spot. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, come on, Carmen. I thought you were gonna be the smart one. Scott, Scott. Love is in South Park. She's all drunk and spreading her legs and showing her poonanner to everybody. You gotta go check it out. I'll watch your house for you. Okay, I'll buy the pubes back. Here. What? Sixteen dollars. Take it. I I'll even throw in an extra five. Here. Give me back my pubes. <laughs> Why do you want them back so much? No reason. I don't believe you. All right, all right. The pube fair in Fort Collins. Pube fair? They're paying five bucks a hair for pubes. If I leave now, I can catch the last bus. Five bucks a hair? That's like a million dollars. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yes? Can you tell me where the pube fair is? The pube fair? Yeah, I've got some pubes to sell. There's no such thing, you little smart ass. <laughs> I had to ride 106 miles in the back of a pickup truck to get back here. You really went? What a tard. All right, Scott, you win. I give up. You do? Wow, you're not as stupid as I thought. Yeah, I'll see you around. Just one thing before I give it to you. What? I just, well, I want you to beg for it. Huh? Just get down on your knees and beg me for the money. What? I'm not gonna lie. Scott, you're weird. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Put Scott in jail. This is weird. This man just told a little kid to get down on his knees and beg for some money. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Bro, he's tripping, bro. I'm not gonna lie. He's tripping. Why? Do you want your grandma to live or not? Bro, like, what the hell? No, no. Get down on your knees. Lower your head. And say... I beg you to give me back my money. I beg you to give me back my money. Now say, I'm a little piggy. What? Say it. I'm a little piggy. Here's my snout. Here's my snout. Oink, oink, oink. Oink, oink, oink. Now dance, little piggy. Dance and oink for me. I'm a little piggy. <laughs> this man doing all this for $16, bro. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro. Your dignity is worth more than than sixteen dollars. <laughs> Now give me back my money. You mean this? You really care that much about 16 measly dollars? I mean, what can you buy with 16 dollars? My parents give me a 50 dollar a week allowance. This pittance means nothing to me. Watch. What? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Carmen. You gotta get your get back. Like, no. Just imagine, man. You uh, humiliate yourself and then burn your own money in your face. You gotta get your get back. It, it, it's not even up for debate no more. Carmen, you've been racist this whole show and messing over people this whole show. You gotta get your get back. No cap. Like, you just got to. No. Why? Now you can't bug me for your dumb money. Here we go. Come and get it. Come on, Pony. Bite the wiener. Bite it. <laughs> Come on, good Pony. That Pony don't want to do that. Now bite it off. Bite off the wiener. Good Pony. He want the hay. Oh, no, Pony. He'll like that. Man, what the freak wrong with that Pony, bro? Bro, that Pony freaky as hell. You training that Pony to please you? No, I'm trying to teach it how to bite someone's penis stuff. Bro, no fucking... No, no, bro. What the hell is wrong with this show? Dog, this shit is crazy. Oh, well, does Mr. Dinkins know you're using his pony? He shoots trespassers on sight, you know. He said it was okay. <laughs> All right, then. Wait, why the hell are you training Dinkins' pony to bite off someone's penis? Because I've got Bro, penis. do y'all see what this pony is doing in the background? I hate him, and I want to make Bro, him. what the fuck? Bro, this shit can't be real. This shit, bro, this shit is not real. Steffi, well, son, I think you've got a pretty. Bro, I'm actually man. tearing up right now, bro. This shit got me crying, now, laughing. If you want to get revenge on somebody, you've got to think like a hunter. Bro, this pony, bro, is this a girl pony, bro? This better be a girl pony. I'm not gonna lie, this pony gay as hell. <laughs> no bullshit. Step one, find someone's weakness. Step two, exploit that weakness. And he's reading a magazine about Radiohead. What's a radio head? You know, that band that sings that song. What am I doing? <laughs> what song here? is that? Oh, Jesus, don't start singing, Ned. So, the subject is a big radio head fan, huh? Maybe I should come up with a little scheme that involves them. Holy crow, he's right, Ned. Mrs. Tenorman's letting the twins out. Let me see. <laughs> radio head. Yes, Mrs. Tenorman's letting the twins out. They're even bigger than I ever imagined. Hey, what the hell are you doing out there? Oh, crap. Who's out there? <laughs> Christ's sake, stop jacking. I can't. Don't think I don't see you. I know who you are, and I'm calling the police. Oh, oh, God, God, I gotta get out of here. No, what the hell? What the fuck? Bro, what the fuck? Bro, this <laughs> bro, this shit is crazy, bro. The whole fucking town was in that bushes beating they shit to this man wife, bro. I was just wondering, do you like the band uh, Radiohead at all? Uh-huh. Oh, really? Oh, because they're doing a big interview on MTV, <laughs> and they're playing it tonight on the big screen downtown. <laughs> Man, that shit was there. crazy. Oh, cool. Uh, thanks for telling me. Welcome back to MTV. We're here with the members from Radiohead, probably the hottest band in the world right now. Guys, when is your next album coming out? That's an interesting question, Kurt. But first, I'd just like to say that I really hate this kid named Scott Tenorman. He's stupid. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the Amazing Cube Boy. I'm a little piggy, here's my snack. <laughs> no, I think I recorded that boy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Even Kenny and them laughing at that boy. <laughs> oh, man. planning a brilliant little scheme that should put Scott in his place for good. And if you'll help me... Why do you keep talking like her. British for a couple seconds? Like, why do okay, you keep doing so that? Plan? It's the brilliant combination of my last two plans. Scott Tenorman's favorite band is Radiohead, right? Yeah. So, I realized, what if we got Radiohead to come here to South Park, right? Then they could meet Scott Tenorman and see him get his wiener bitten off by a pony. Dear Radiohead, my name is Eric Cartman. I'm a young, supple, eight-year-old boy from South Park, Colorado. I'm writing to you because of a kid I know named Scott Tenorman. Scott is 15, and I'm afraid he has cancer in his ass. 
Radiohead is his favourite man who can make his short life if you could find it in your heart to visit him before he dies alone, scared. Won't you please consider it? I don't think he'll make it past next Tuesday around 5. Hello? Scott Ketterman? What do you want? We just want to warn you, Eric Carbon, the fourth grader, is going to try to trick you somehow into getting your wiener bitten off by a pony that lives at Jenkins Ranch. How do you- Why are you snitching? Oh, why are you snitching? You know. Because we're his friends. Then why are you telling me? Because we hate him. Oh. Well, we just thought we'd let you know. See ya. Well, see ya. I ain't gonna lie. Carmen is a fucked up person, so I can see why they snitched. I ain't even mad at him. Hello, Scott. Hey. I was just stopping by to invite you to my Chili Con Carnival. It's a chili kickoff with Rad. Everyone's coming, and I wanted to drop by your invitation personally. Ooh, a Chili Carnival, huh? That sounds great. Mom, Dad, that was my good friend Eric at the door. He told me that there's a starving pony at... I ain't gonna lie, I see what the town people were talking about earlier. They are pretty big. <laughs> no cap. Like, they are pretty big. Like, they, 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 they damn near all the way on her stomach. Okay, it makes sense now. Jenkins Ranch has been abandoned. Oh, dear. Yeah, I feel really bad. But I don't know how I can help it because I have a lot of homework to do. Well, don't you worry, Scott. Your mom and I can go get the pony and have it taken to an animal shelter. What are you doing, Scott? What's it look like? I'm making chili. Did you bring the goods? We got everyone we could find to chip in. There's pubes from just about every kid in town in here. This is the dumbest thing you've ever done, Cartman. Oh, it won't be so dumb when Scott Tenement arrives. I suggest you stay to see the fireworks. Oh, we will. Trust us. We wouldn't miss this. What's so funny? <laughs> oh, nothing. It's just a little way to get Scott Tenement back. Is Radiohead here yet? Not yet, but they will be. Scott Tenement! How are you, Scott? Thanks so much for coming. Oh, I wouldn't miss this for anything. Likewise. Well, come on, you've got to see the penny. This chili looks pretty good. Here's mine. Mmm. I don't know, your chili is good, Cartman, but I think mine is better. Try it. Ah, this is really good, Scott. I'm glad you like it so much, because now that you're almost finished, I have something to tell you. What? You mean about how you put pubes in your chili? What? Oh, shit. My son Cartman finally shaking back. I'm like, he can't be taking L the whole episode. Like, he gotta shake back. Yes, I'm afraid this isn't your chili, Scott. A chili con carnival was a trap. I assumed that they would tell you that I had trained Jenkins' pony to bite off your wiener. What they didn't tell you was that Jenkins is a crazy redneck who shoots trespassers on sight. Knowing that you would go and try to do something to the pony, I warned Mr. Jenkins that violent pony killers were in the area. I also knew that you wouldn't go yourself for fear of having your wiener bitten off. You would most likely send your parents. And I'm afraid that when Mr. Jenkins spotted them on his property, he shot and killed both your parents. <laughs> I came just in time to see Mr. Jenkins giving his report to Officer Bar Brady. And of course, to steal the bodies. After a night with the hacksaw, I was all ready to put on my chili gun carnival. Wait a minute, did he put his parents in a chili? Carmen, you... Carmen, you didn't stoop that low, right? Like, he didn't... Nah, you didn't stoop that low, right? Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> what the... <laughs> Bro, I'm thinking he gonna be like, Nah, I'm just kidding. That's not your parents. Bro, this nigga actually put the parents in a chili? This nigga just had this nigga mom fingers with her wedding ring in a chili. Nah, that's... <laughs> Nah, I see why this is one of the most popular episodes. This shit is diabolical. This shit is crazy. Like, whoa. My mom and dad are dead. No, no. Uh, excuse me. Oh, there you go. With that band, Radiohead. Jeez, what a little crybaby. <laughs> no. Damn. Wait. Oh my God. Oh my God. Where's the ever for that guy? Taste your tears, Scott. Mm, your tears are so yummy and sweet. Dude, I think it might be best for us to never piss Cartman. I almost threw up just now. Oh, the tears of unsettled. Oh. I don't know how I feel about that ending, bro. That shit just rubbed that just shit just rubbed me the wrong way. I ain't gonna lie, my stomach in a knot right now. That shit crazy. Ugh, this nigga start drinking this nigga tears. That shit crazy. But it's Cartman, bro. What can you expect? This nigga is the worst cartoon character ever created, probably. No cap. He be he beat Peter Griffin, and I didn't even know that was possible, bro. That shit crazy, bro. But you know, W episode W episode, that shit was funny as hell, no cap. 
And like I said earlier, I'm finna get back on my South Park shit. And I feel like this was the perfect, perfect, perfect episode for my return in South Park. Well, it's really not my return because I dropped the video like two or three weeks ago. But this finna be my return of being consistent with it. No cap. I'm finna, you know, actually put out quality videos once again. And I'm not about to be rushing my videos like I've been doing. So y'all might get a video like once a week again. No cap. I'm just being honest. Because these videos have been taking a long time to edit because I'll be having to do a lot of shit to make sure it don't get copyrighted. So my videos are not going to be as frequent. But I'm finna get back in my South Park bag once again. So if you enjoyed enjoy the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You feel me? Stay tuned for more South Park reactions. I know I said that last time, but this time I actually mean it. Stay tuned for more reactions. And other than that, it's your boy Kendall. And I'm gone. And I'm finna be our favorite South Park reaction channel. No cap.